we can determine the pH of soil more exactly when we use an indicator such as um, universal indicator. I'm going to pour some water into this test tube and shake the soil with the water. Now this is to let the salts dissolve in the water because you know we can only test pH if we have a solution because an acidic soil will be because of an excess of hydrogen ions and an alkaline soil because of an excess of hydroxyl ions. Okay, I've got two types of soil and we're going to see if the pH is different or not. Right, mix and there we've got our water. I'm going to pour off the water, we say decant. And then we're going to test. There we've got it. Right, now let's see. We've got our universal paper indicator and we can drop it in there and give it some time to settle. We're going to do the experiment with some solution just now. Okay, right. Okay, the solution. Do you see any color changes yet? Okay, let's put in some universal indicator solution. We'll give it a little shake. Leave it time to settle. Now remember, the fact that we don't see any spectacular results is also a result. What can we deduce from this color change? Can you see something happening there at the bottom? Okay, let's wait a little. Do a good mix. Give it some time. And there we can see the color change. And if we compare this color with the strip and if we compare this color with the original color of the indicator solution we can see that a change occurred and if we look at the strip the color seems to indicate that the pH is more or less 3 which means that it is an acidic soil. Now if we decant this one there you can see the greenish color and that will indicate, and if we dilute to get a better idea, that, perfect, will give a very definite indication compared to the strip of a pH of between 5 and 6. In other words, just under neutral garden soil.